Hi, I'm Kat, and welcome to Kat's Cooking Corner. Today we are going to be making a pumpkin cream cheese spread that's great as a party dip. For this, you will need cream cheese, canned pumpkin, sugar, pumpkin pie spice, and vanilla, as well as an electric mixer and various measuring utensils. Okay, apparently we had some problems to begin with. So far, we have eight ounces of cream cheese in here and a half cup of canned pumpkin. It's actually better to let your cream cheese set out so that it's room temperature and softened before you use it. But if you have to use it straight out of the fridge, that's fine. It just will take a little longer for it to mix. And like I said, you can always put, um, save the rest of your can of pumpkin. You can use it to make muffins or something else later. Okay. Then you need a quarter cup of sugar. Three quarters teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Finally, a half teaspoon of vanilla. Really simple to put together. Now let me move things around a smidge before I start blending. Just because I have such a tiny workspace, makes it a little more organized. Okay. Then set up your mixer. Hopefully this time the beaters will stay in place. <laughs> Especially if your cream cheese isn't soft. Once the cream cheese starts to separate, then turn it up to a medium. I'm making this for a Tupperware party. I will be removing it from the mixing bowl 
to the little dip containers for the chip and dip um, Tupperware set. See, it should look something like this. <laughs> This is a perfect sweet spread dip for fall festivities. Has the pumpkin, pumpkin spice, etc. Now, once you have this done, once it's to this point, you want to put it in a sealed container, of course, and refrigerate it for one hour before serving. This spread pairs really well with graham crackers or vanilla wafers or other light flavored cookie type things. <laughs> Um, as much as I would love to say this is my own personal recipe, it is not. Uh, I do not know who to give credit to. I found it online over a decade ago. So even trying to retrace my, my steps would be pretty much impossible now. But um, it, So if you do know who is responsible for this great recipe, please, you know, give them a shout out in the comments. But really simple great for parties, get-togethers. Doesn't take a lot of time, doesn't take a lot of ingredients. And it tastes good. So as always, if you would like to see more recipes, please follow this channel. <laughs> Sorry. Please follow this channel and see you next time.